Red Rib would like to find out from you. Give us a good insight of what happened and the whole nine, man. Break it down to us. Okay, so essentially, uh, all right, so how this whole started was um, there was a fire that happened in Oakland at a warehouse party where it was like this big warehouse and it was sort of a commune where a bunch of people were like sort of living at. Not really legally, but mm -hmm. that happens a lot in like the whole under, underground oh, warehouse community. Mm -hmm. um, so th there was a bunch of artists living in this warehouse and they had like parties regularly there. And uh, basically they were stealing internet from like the next door neighbor or some shit like that. <laughs> and uh, like the fridge they had hooked up to one of the outlets sparked and they had all these like weird staircases that were like legally built mm -hmm. in their like warehouse and they all caught on fire. And essentially the warehouse collapsed from like floor to floor to floor, killed like 30 people. And ever since that happened, all the cities in California started cracking down on warehouse code, like super hardcore. So the warehouse I was renting at, there was not really legal activity going on there. Mm -hmm. There was, you know, like people living there, which they weren't supposed to be. Um, everything we were doing was legal, but um, the fire marshal came in randomly one day and he was like, hey, he's like, do those sprinklers work? And I was like, I don't own this spot. Like, do you want me to call the landlord? He's like, yes. So call the landlord. And mm -hmm. then um, essentially the day of uh, the December event, the landlord mm -hmm. called me and he was like, hey, you can't have the event today. Like during the event when I was like letting people in, he's like, you got to call off the event because the building's getting bulldozed and red tagged. So. Oh. Um, call off the event, don't have it happen. And I basically told him to fuck off. I was like, dude, mm -hmm. like, I'm like, you didn't tell me that beforehand and uh -huh. you're not going to call the cops. <laughs> exactly. So I'm like, we're going to have the event and then we'll deal with it afterwards. So okay. essentially the building supposedly got bulldozed. I actually drove by it just now. It's still there. So I think what the owners did is they kicked everybody out and they're gonna jack the rent up like super high now because it's becoming like mm -hmm. super gentrified in that area. So essentially we got kicked out of that building and I have since been looking for a new venue, but the thing is with the bunker man is, is it was really, really expensive, like really expensive for myself. Maybe not for other individuals, but for myself, it was a lot of money to pay and um, I'm sort of evaluating if it was the best thing to do. I loved having it and I thought it was like a very good thing for battle rap in general. And I think there needs to be something like that, but without like some sort of financial ba backing, I feel like it's not really possible for me to do it right now. So that's, I'm kind of in this limbo where I'm like, do I go into debt more for myself for battle rap or do I try to find sponsorship or I don't know. Essentially there's like the financial aspect is like what's keeping me from finding another venue for the bunker. So as of now the bunker is still on hiatus. I still want to do it. I still think it's a fucking great idea and I still think battle rap still needs to have that hub. I think URL should definitely explore that option and get a venue. Uh -huh. They would they would do amazing if they had a venue in like Brooklyn or something. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, I don't know. I still think it's a good option, but I currently just like can't afford it mm -hmm. at the end of the day. So humbly, that's what I say. Well, hopefully, man, we can get the bunker or something mm. of that nature, maybe a new name or something. <laughs> No, I mean, if, series, I, if I get a venue, you know? it's still going to be the bunker for sure. Yeah. I, I definitely want it to happen. It's just financially, we yeah, it's I mean, the I financials, and uh, yeah. it's it's a lot of work, man. Okay, <laughs> it's well, a shit understand. ton of work. But I am definitely very happy with what I'm doing at Ruin Your Day right now. <laughs> um, we got a lot of cool new shows on there, That's right. and um, on that. I'm on that. actually going to be doing some other stuff on there just keep your eyes open mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say what but uh <laughs> just keep your eyes open for there. Okay. so subscribe you. to ruin your day if you haven't already it's a good channel it's fun and all that bullshit so mm -hmm. shout out to rap grid by the way as well